Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about what is Mahalanobis distance and how it is used uh, in statistical analysis, especially for the outlier uh, detection. So Mahalanobis distance is used to measure distance between uh, a point in a Cartesian plane and a distribution. So in essence, it's used to measure distance of a point from a distribution. So that's a nutshell. Uh, it works well in multivariate case. So if you have more than one variable in your data, you can measure the point. Uh, you can measure the distance of a point from your data. So that's um, very useful, especially in multivariate case. And in statistical analysis, we deal with a uh, number of variables. Hence, uh, this is so uh, useful. Um, it's used in multivariate outlier detection. So we do uh, a lot of assessment on invariate outlier detection, but not so much on multivariate outlier detection. Um, oftentimes that's not given enough importance. But um, Mahalanobis distance can be used uh, to detect multivariate outliers. So in statistical analysis, we should be um, dealing with not just the univariate outliers but also the multivariate outliers and that's where it is so useful so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take an example uh, and i'm going to show you in r as to how we can um, understand how to calculate uh, mahalanobis distance and how to detect outliers based on mahalanobis distance uh, a bit more theory so as you can see on the screen it's uh, it's not very difficult to calculate. In fact, you can calculate uh, Mahalanobis distance using hand. Doing hand calculation, you can do that. Of course, uh, if it if it is like you know, uh, if the dimension is quite high, it's a bit difficult to do hand calculation. You have to use a computer or write a program. Uh, you can easily calculate something like that. So here you have a distance between P and P1 and P2 and um, it's the matrix notation for this x1 and x2 are the matrix notation for point p1 and p2 okay and you take transpose for that c is the covariance matrix and uh, yeah you multiply the three terms and you will get uh, the distance square okay and it's independent of scale so you don't have to worry about the scale of the variables Oftentimes, that's an issue uh, in statistical analysis. You have to um, uh, ensure that all the variables are in the same scale. But in this case, you don't have to make sure that it's it's automatically taken care uh, by the algorithm. Um, and it takes care of the high correlation between variables. So even if you have high correlation between your uh, variables, uh, it's still fine. You can use Mahalanobis distance. Whereas in Euclidean distance, that's an issue. Okay, so that's one again, one another difference. All right, so we will go to now R and perform uh, a bit of an analysis. I'll take a very small example to show how we can calculate. You can also do hand computation, but that's something I leave it to you to do. All right, so here I have taken a data. It's, it's data I've created myself. So I've got uh, sales and advertisement, uh, expenditure on advertisement and price of the good. So there are three uh, variables in my data set. It's more like a marketing data where you have sale, advertisement, expenditure and price of the good. Okay. You can run it. I've already run it. So this data set is created. Um, and so there are two ways to do this. First one is we saw the formula. So we can arrange it in matrix form, um, have the covariance matrix and calculate the distance. That's one way. We have to write a function for that, uh, Mahalanobis function. But in R you have a built-in function called Mahalanobis. All you have to give is the data frame where you have the variables and then um, the means okay, and covariance. Okay, so um, this is an example of uh, 
outlier detection okay so what we are interested in is that we want to know the Mahalanovich distance for each observation of this data set and how is it uh, you know different from the mean of, of the entire data set okay so here the column uh, is the mean and we provide that basically the same data as as the argument and also for the covariance okay as we saw in the formula covariance is used for the calculation so that's why it is needed if you run this you will get um, the Mahalanovich distance okay the lower the distance uh, the better is the data point um, right but uh, how do we detect if some if uh, a data point is outlier or not right so in statistical analysis what we expect is that most of the data points should be centered around the mean of the data the mean of the variable right and uh, we can you know do an invariate analysis on that right just do a plot scatter plot and see whether most of the observations are around the mean or some of the observations are too far from the mean and then we categorize them as outliers but that's not easy when you have more than one variable at the same time you can obviously do each variable separately but not at once right so the multivariate outliers will still be there in your data set even if you do the invariate data uh, outlier detection right so in that situation you can use Mahalanovich distance and you can use some sort of cutoff point to uh, remove the outliers right so now we have calculated Mahalanovich distance what we'll do so there's one extra thing we need to do we need to um, calculate the p-value for the Mahalanovich distance and how you do we uh, use the chi-square function um, so here we have just assigned the, the Mahalanovich distance in, separately in a, another new variable so we provide that and then degree of freedom that means uh, if you have here in this case we have three variables so the degree of freedom is 3 minus 1 so it's basically k minus 1 in that case so degree of freedom is 2 um, and let us run this and sorry Oh, something is wrong okay maybe I haven't run this okay here you see the p-value it ranges from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 okay uh, normally a p-value uh, less than I mean the less is the p-value the more likely it is uh, an outlier now, depending on the problem at hand we will set up a threshold um, but the, that's the that's the thing here okay so here you also see the the, the smaller the Mahalanovich distance the bigger is the p-value so here it is the highest I would say and the p-value is the lowest so you can either have a cutoff on the Mahalanovich distance or you can have a cutoff for the p-value right so depending on the problem at hand you can set it up um, so some people what they do is that they take the top 95 percent of the good observations which are close to the center with the lowest uh, with the minimum um, Mahalanovich distance and leave, leave aside the you know the the extreme five percent okay so that also you can you can um, you can use okay so that's one use uh, of Mahalanovich distance there are other uses but in most uh, statistical analysis we use this for um, outlier detection it's also used in cluster analysis and some of these analysis where you know we want to find um, you know we want we want to identify observations and classify them it's also used in anomaly detection and so forth thank you